everybody welcome back to another episode of infiltration so i managed to stabilize the bleeding that we had <laughs> taken from the last battle we were in the punishment that we took let's have a look at the mech base first and we can take a look at uh what we're dealing with so i changed um you know i'm not exactly sure what i was thinking uh when i was putting these mechs together but um I went back and re-looked at a few things. So the fire, fire control system advanced apparently acts as a targeting computer so I can use battle computer upgrades. Didn't know that. Now that now I know that, I can look at putting some battle computer upgrades in these guys. But I managed to switch this to the um, um, uh, fire control system advanced clan uh, only because this thing gives you a plus two accuracy with uh, improved, um, sorry, with uh, offensive push. So um, we'll be able to utilize our lasers here for some pinpoint damage, which I think is probably pretty good. So that's what I did with this guy. Uh, that's the Hades, or Hades. The Hell Spawn remained the same. It didn't touch it. I think it's I think pretty much balanced. I don't think we need to touch that at all. Centurion we'll have a look at last. Apollo remained the same. Didn't do anything with that. Uh, so let's have a look at the Hollander first, because this one was the one that took um, a significant amount of damage. Uh, we lost our PPC. But uh, once again, I put the fire control system advanced in this guy. Um, we lost a bunch of prototype double heat sinks, but we do have two. Um, I think we lost. I think we only lost one prototype double heat sink, one or two or something like that. But we with we have two still in here, um, and the exchangers. So our heat efficiency is actually really good. So we've got two ER large lasers now for range damage. Uh, tag barrage. The ER medium stayed in here. And we put the SRM-6 Valiant with uh, one ton of ammo in. Uh, with the Clan Ferrofibrous, it, it should be uh, protected enough that we don't have to worry about that. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're left with. Uh, now the ATM that was in here, the ATM-6, the launcher got destroyed. The ammo was intact, so we lost the launcher. That was why, that's why I couldn't figure out why we couldn't fire. I thought we had lost a ton of ammo, but it wasn't. It was just the launcher. So, yeah, we're down to the SRM-6 Valiant. It doesn't ha quite have the same range, 330 meters, but it does uh, 10 damage per, per missile, which is pretty good. If we can find some SRM uh, dead fire ammo, that'd be even better. But once again, we got long range fire support um, with uh, three ERs and we got a tag barrage. So that's on this guy. Now, uh, the tag barrage got moved from the Centurion. So let's have a look at the Centurion. Now this guy uh, got cored. So we lost the engine core, um, and we lost the heavy ferro. So I had to put regular ferro back in, and we ended up having to go with a lighter core because this is all I have. This is my heaviest core right now, 200. So we dropped that in here. So I managed to gain a bit of weight. So what I did is um, the rack was, everything was intact with the rack. Uh, I upgraded the regular ER medium laser here to um, the clan ER. A uh, little extra range, which I think is great. Uh, it's more heat, but we got more range. And we added the uh, Streak 4 in here as well uh, for a little bit of close range fire support. So um, other than that, oh, I think we added we added a heat sink. No, we didn't. So we're still heat pretty pretty heat efficient here. Um, and that is that guy. So we should be ready to go. Uh, and I've already got a mission chose what we're going to do here. Let's have a look at the barracks real quick, though. I haven't had a chance to have a peek at our, our pilots. Let's start off with Dallas. No, we're still good. We're going to wait and get gunnery on her. Uh, Duck is fine. Reporting. Goofy's still okay. Gundal is okay. Hellion, we're still, we still have the issue with doing this. I don't understand what is up with this. Right? Even if I just take this, it won't register. So we're going to save and go right to max gunnery. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's up with this, but I don't know. Uh, and we're once again, we're saving on gunnery for our commander here. Or do we want to go with view distance? Called shot bonus as well. Mm, I think I'm going to go this route. Training confirmed, commander. Yeah, we'll wait for gunnery. I want to get that called shot bonus because we have that... Uh, um, bonus to hit with the targeting computer so maybe we can start legging more guys uh yeah so that's that and let's go to the command center now so i think what i want to do is a two skull mission here i think we can take uh raiding party it's a good payout a good salvage it's against the planetary government they're landing a uh, lance of mechs that we need to intercept so we're going to go ahead and do that going to go full salvage 328,000 is pretty good and accept that and we're going to go standard layout let's do this
Okay, here we go. Landed somewhere in the area, did it? Well, right up there. As a matter of fact. So this is it. Finally. Finally, huh? All right. So, uh, just so you know, too, the reason why I went with the two ER um, large lasers, uh, as opposed to going with a bunch of smaller weapons or changing the weapon systems up, um, was it, it's... Uh, has to do with our heat sinking and what we have for um, um, heat sink kits and um, our heat regular heat sinks. So we've got a lot of standard double heat sinks, but no standard double heat sink kit. We've got one, one or two clan double heat sinks and several double heat sink kits. So I can't really put a lot of um, double or clan double heat sinks on a mech to sink heat. So, uh, in order to keep the heat and weight in balance, it was ended up being like it was, unfortunately. Because I thought about putting several ER. Look, you know, we're going to have guys coming from the other side, too. So, let's move over here with the... Um, do I want to? No. Let's get into here. Um, yeah, so I ended up uh, playing around with things and really to manage the heat, it was really the only way to do it. So I'm really hoping that the pinpoint lasers do some work here. Uh, th yeah, this is so slow now. Let's get you back here. We're running a, a, a diamond position with a scout. That's what this is called. The diamond scout uh, <laughs> formation. All right. Um, After that last battle, I think engaging at range is probably better for a lot of the missions. I mean, it is one of the things the clans do best, right, is engaging at range. And we're kind of set up for that. I mean, with the exception of Goofy, right? Everybody's set up for some range. No, you need to get over here more. So I'm still trying to figure out the, the jamming right slash ECM protection thingy with this um, with the ECM switching them back and forth. I think right now with the I think the blue circle is the your ECM protection. And if we switch it, like if we go control click and switch it, it becomes ECM jamming. Wow, these guys are quiet. It's got me concerned here. Got to put these mix into trees. What do we got here? Ostwar, 65 tons. Uh, Helipolis. I think we got to kill that guy. Oh shit, there's two of them. Of course there is. Well... This should be fun. Well, it looks like we got a good support land, so that's good. Awaiting order. I'll be there before you know. Let's make sure these other guys can't get a direct line of sight on us. I think they're indirect fire anyway, but all right, streaks, streaks it is, streaks it isn't. Beautiful. Ready for order. Position confirmed. Oh, 
Oh, really? All right. Leave that off. So we get a little closer. All right, firing. Well, that hit. Nice. Excellent. Okay, a couple of hits. Oh, looks like we penned somewhere. Finally. Bet it's the torso. Still don't know. I hesitate to do this, but I'm going to. The reason why I say that is I got a feeling that these guys have got area effect weapons. Uh, let's see how much damage we can apply to this guy. Where did the tag barrage go? Just behind him. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Stay in the trees. Confirmed. Thought about moving up this way, but we're going to go this way. Going to keep it at three and firing. On the All right, one hit and a laser hit. Beautiful. We got a thunderbolt on our side. Nice. Yes. Hunchback. Okay. We've got enough parts to make a hunchback now. We've got the 4G, the 4H, and the 4S, I think. One of them is the uh, laser back. Wow. Well, thank God he didn't shoot at me. Yeah, he took major armor loss, that's for sure. Um, so we've got three variants. We've got the AC-10 variant. We've got the laser back variant. Oh, man. And we've got the um, the periphery rifle variant, which we don't want. So if we can get a different version. I'm trying to think of which one we want to go with. God, this is such a bad idea, but we got to do this. Oof, really? Actually, let's do... Uh, I can't do it now. Shoot. Well, we're firing. firing. Well, one of the SRMs hit. Yeah, so I've been trying to decide which one to go with. Now, I haven't brought it out of storage because we're r running low on C-bills for this month, so we've got to be very careful with our expenditures. We don't know what version this is, do we? 1G, okay. That's the... Uh, G is the um, AC-10 version, I believe. I believe it's the AC-10 version. Got a feeling that guy's going to target me next. So let's get over here. We definitely have to spread out now. Got a feeling that these guys are AOE. Look at the shit chances they hit on this. Okay, we got one hit. Yeah. What can I do, you fool? No problem. Move as far as you can. Get some ECM protection. And shoot this guy, will ya? Let's leave the barrage off. Low chances to hit could mean we get hit instead. I don't know if those guys are arrow launchers or not. 
But if we can save enough pieces of salvage from these guys, we can put one together. You know, I'm kind of glad we went with three pieces. I'm glad and I'm not glad. I'm glad we went with three pieces of salvage for this particular playthrough. Um, this was not the intended playthrough I meant to do uh, originally. As I've described in the past, it was supposed to be, you know, two separate lances, basically two games running side by side. Everyone on the same ship kind of thing, but... Um, so that was the original goal. Um, but it, we, I, I just couldn't do it because of time constraints and how fatigued I was. I'm going to start doing that over Christmas, though. Um, so I'm kind of glad I'm doing it with three pieces of salvage so I can get a sense of what the game is like. Um, try and get a feel for it again. Because I, I find a lot of things have kind of changed. Um, oh, it gives me two of them. Direct fire. Well... Move as far as we can. Let's go. Get as many chevrons of evasion as we can. We'll fire at this guy. Keep the pressure up. Uh, leave the SRM-6 on. Okay, one of the large lasers hit. Beautiful. But yeah, so... Uh, and I will be doing that uh, that playthrough. That'll be really the serious playthrough. This one is like trying to figure out how everything goes. Now, I know Heavy Metal's released, and most likely the Rogue Tech team is working on the new updates for that. Don't know how how long how far out that is. I haven't actually read on anything. Oh my god! It's just so accurate. Armor breach, internal damage. I haven't read up on it, so I have no idea. I have no idea um, what to expect. Um, but hopefully that'll come out relatively quickly. Um, they're turning their back to the enemy. And we can use that one over Christmas time, but I, I can't guarantee it. So whichever one, whichever um, version is up at the time, uh, since that is really like a supposed to supposedly supposed to be like a story based one. Actually, those are pretty good chances to hit. How much armor does he have here? A fair bit. Let's try it anyway. Look at this thing on the shoulder here. Okay, we got one hit on his leg. Um, whichever version we end up playing with, it'll just be the one I keep going with. Because th that's supposed to be more of a story-based uh, playthrough. Order. So that is your... Sorry, left arm, left side, okay. Get your ass in the trees, boy. I understand. Turn the right side. Let's go vigilance. And we're just going to shoot at him. Okay. That's it, apply the damage. More and more damage, please. Get him up into instability. Maybe we can knock his ass down. No, no not that guy. So I'm kind of looking forward to that new playthrough. I haven't got a name of the series yet, but it is like I said it was going to be. Uh, we'll start off with Clam X. We'll be in Inner Sphere Space. And once again, I'm going to say this because uh, someone had mentioned in the comments that... Um, it wasn't really canon, and it's not supposed to be. It's not a canon series. Um, I'm not going through the lore of Battletech to go play the series. It's just a fun thing that, you know, um, a fun playthrough that, I, that I'm going to like to do. So uh, don't expect it to be a canon series. And if you do, you know, okay, uh, but don't, you know, I'm not going to be responding to the the comments that it's not canon because I, I, I'm just going to say it out, out now that it's just not going to be. Uh, okay, firing with dead fire. Hopefully we get some good hits here. All right, not bad. Not bad. 
and that's not to be like you know I'm not trying to be negative or anything like that I'm just saying that it's just not gonna not gonna be a canon series so the, the the person who mentioned that before I'm not I'm not trying to come down on them at all but it's just you know there's no way I'm going to be able to go and read all the lore um, and have a good idea of what's canon and what isn't and how to play it and what, all that stuff. I'm just not going to have the time for that. So I'm just going to play it and have fun. But it should be interesting because, I mean, if you think about it, now we've got, like, the ability to have two lances going at once. So it would really be, like two um starting off with two drop ships on one main ship and then we could have up to four drop ships like basically playing for the same quote unquote campaign so we're going to pick our targets I, I was in you know i'm hoping i have enough time for this but i, I want to do like maps of a planet surface you know outline objectives who's going to be taking what based on whatever missions are on the planet i'm not going to read the descriptions of the missions like so for destroying a base or rescuing somebody we'll come up with some reasons for it um what the objectives are for and then we'll divide up the groups doing what to succeed in a mission so one group one group will be pulling enemies away from or stopping reinforcements while the other group is attacking a base things like that and we'll come up with some interesting things so if we win or lose battles it'll just change the position on the map and i'll try to have some kind of cool map based on the planet that we're on uh at the time on how things go like i'm still working on the idea it's going to require a little bit of work but you know i think it's going to be kind of cool in the end all right so this guy has gone and turned towards us can we get can get a bit of a side shot there a better one there As you wish. oof really He's got a missile system and a ballistic system down. Nice hits though. Wow. Oh, really? We got to stay away from these other two guys though. Good chances to hit. How are we with offensive push on that leg? Not the best, but we're going to take it. How are we doing with this leg here? Not bad. We're just inside. Okay, we got a couple hits in the leg. Beautiful. Oh, finally, you're moving up. Excellent. Hammer him. Okay, he's unstable. We still got our missile mech and our rack mech left. Hopefully we can knock his ass to the ground. Yes, Commander. Okay, we got some side shots coming up. Move order received. Don't have enough for called shot, but we got excellent chances to hit, so we're taking them. Okay, there's a leg hit. Heavy rifle destroyed. Oh, the ammo. Pilot hit, knocked down, another hit. Commander. Okay, I think we need to waste this guy though. That brings it in much better range. Let's do that. Full speed sounds good. Uh huh. Beautiful. Wake up. Time to die. Here goes. Drop it. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. So it looks like it's only going to be one lance. We would have heard of another lance by now if there was one more. Yes, come in. How far can you get? Not far enough to get uh, to where we want to be, but that's fine. What is up with the chances to hit? Dead fire, probably? Something's whack on this thing. Roger that. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't blame you, buddy. You just stay back there. Ooh, well, at least he wasn't shooting for me. It is at this moment he wishes he had jump jets. I get out of these damn trees, it's going to be a problem. Oh, we got good chances for an OP. Let's see if we can ninja this leg here. Beautiful. Okay, so the other guy can't see us. Yes, uh, if I'm guessing, he's got XL, and I think probably we need to go for the kill on this guy. So let's take this torso. Is that the torso? Looks like it was. No, no, he can see you there. Here we go. At least his big gun will be down then. Oh. That sounded to me like he forgot to turn his mask off. Oh, what are you turning your back to them for? Oh, he bailed. Beautiful. <gasps> Savage. Tag barrage is up. Let's use it. Well, it looks like he's in the heat zone. Let's get out of his visual sight. Get out of his visual sight. Just drop him. This guy's totally a different loadout. Uh, I'm gonna reserve Hellion. What is up? Oh crap, we're jammed. But it's fine. We got lots of other weapons firing. Okay, the rack is unjammed and we're in back strike distance now. He's calling me out. I think it's okay for arrow here gonna use it and fire on his backside okay he's completely unstable oh you're fine oh that's a little payback don't fall don't fall don't fall don't fall damn it well he's dead never mind <laughs> <laughs> there it is, folks. Mission successful. Okay, 198,000. Not bad. Very little damage on us. Well, I mean, Hellspawn took a good arm hit. Uh, Heliopolis. Heli Heliopolis. We got a 1G part already. Uh, but we can't say no to that. I mean, we could, but we'd be stupid. Laser rifle. Chem laser. Zero heat, eh? Interesting. 
Thunderbolt pack. Four salvos. Interesting. Spall liner. Oh, God, there's like lots of cool stuff here. Upper spiked. Interesting. I don't think any heavy rifles survived, right? Am I medium rifle? Lerm 20. Oh, the medium heavy rifle. Those guys were probably on the uh, hunchback. Anyway, let's confirm this. All right, we, we got all the mech parts. That's nice. Uh, Thunderbolt pack we got. LRM-20, laser rifle, medium rifle. Heat sinks we can sell. Spall liner, nice. That's actually pretty cool. All right, let's take this. Okay, let's have a look here. 47,000, yeah. Not much we can do about that. Uh, now all we have to do is figure out how we're going to make our financial report. So let's go to the mech base. And most likely we're going to assemble that hunchback and sell it. So we got this guy too. So this one is... Um, flaw design ran too hot at insufficient armament. Armed with a howitzer in place of the iconic sniper piece. Lack the range and, st and stopping power later version. So what's the other one we have? FC? Uh, okay. Why does that seem like it's worse? Belongs in a museum, not in the hands of some damn drunken pirate tech. Two ballistic, three laser, two missile. It's the same. Oh. Okay, well... Sniper artillery pieces were stripped off. Now, I have no idea what's on this guy. Let's go with this, because sure. It's probably cheaper to put this one together. It's going to cost the C-bills to do this, but... That mech is ready to fight, Let's see what that's like. And then we've got... Um, the Hunchback. Let's bring that into service. Where are you here? I'm trying to think of which one would be worth the most. So the G version is the primitive one. Okay. Um, it's, we're going to be selling it anyway. Although I do want parts. So the H version is the one with the AC-10. But I think if we want parts to sell, I think it's better to go with this one. The 4P. It's the laser energy weapon version. So there's chances of more items surviving. So let's go this route. To use those two old crappy ones up. And confirm. Alright, let's check out what we got here. Okay, base. First of all, hunchback, because we were going to be ditching this guy. So let's have a refit on this. Doesn't look like much survived. Ooh. It's the disco back. Yep, still the disco back. Uh, not much survived. Well... Let's just scrap this sucker. Stop. Just stop. Alright, let's scrap him. Not going to get much for it. 607. That's actually not too bad, I guess. A little more than I thought. 
we got a few things to sell so we're pretty close we can sell a couple of other things and be pretty close here now this guy three fit and take a look at what it's got oh laser rifle upper spike shoulder spall liner dynamic slot though fuel cell really Minus 80% heat generated by weapons fire. Do I want to keep this thing? Primitive, well we ditched the primitive, well I can't ditch the primitive armor. <laughs> How much is it to repair? 466,000, eh? Yeesh. We didn't get much off this. The armor is like, I guess not too bad. And it is a 75 ton, so I mean, oh God, I don't know. If we trash it, how much are we gonna get for it? A million. Don't have time to take another mission before the end of the month. Let's manage our tasks a bit here. Okay, let's see if we can sell a couple things to... Uh, actually, let's go to the storage first. Let's go to uh, back to the mech bay. Hey, Commander. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Panther P. Tranch it. See ya. Uh, what else do we got? Kid, we're gonna hold on to the whole kit fox. What do we have that's light here? Arctic fox. Yeah, I think anything 30 tons or less we should just get rid of. Urban mech. The Jenner we can prob- well... Another urban mech. How are we doing now? We're over. Okay, let's leave it like that. I hate having to sell parts, but got to do it to survive. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing it all along too. All right, so let's advance and lose that million. Yeah, thanks for that. Bleeding me dry here. Honestly, at this point, I don't think we can keep that other mech. If we, the only way we're going to be able to keep the 75 tonner is if we fix it and put it in storage for now. And the reason why I say that is bec simply because um, it's uh, we're already at a million. And if we like we're a million two with this mech in, if we pull if we pull one of the other mechs out, sure we can keep it, but like we're having a really hard time as it is keeping our financial report up. And I've sold off like all of our cores, like unless we can make enough in the month. And this thing's gonna cost a crap ton to keep repaired. Um tell you what. Taking one more mission today. Let's go with uh Defend base, nope. Let's go. Thorn in the side. Wait, raiding party is similar, right? Battle. That's an assassinate. This is a battle. Let's go with a battle. Local pirates. Full salvage. We'll see how we do here. Um, and if we're doing okay, then great. We'll keep this mech. I, I just think I should just sell it. I mean, it's an old piece of junk. I know it's 75 tons, but still. Okay, here we go. Only good pirates are dead, pirate. Move to their location and engage them. You got that. You got that. Mm-hmm. It's high time we destroy it. Uh, so yeah, I was actually thinking on the drop down here. 
one of the things we could do if we sell that um, 75 tonner is we can use the sea bills to um, purchase another uh, drop bay for another one of our mechs so we can get another pilot getting gaining experience we can pull forward the uh, um, kit fox and set that up or if we're not controlling it right away we can pull forward the um, degener put some LRMs on it or an LRM system on it anyway so at least the AI controlling it will be using the missile systems alright let's get up ahead because I don't foresee us moving to like, even with that 75 tonner moving to that like a three skull mission it's really really difficult I mean I, I know we've only done one but it was a really tough one so without me controlling all the mechs on the ground or most of them it's going to be really really difficult like if I had the support of those other three units or four units that we had if I was able to at least control them it may have been a different story Yeah, thorn to my side. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea of um, selling that mech. There's a one and a well, there's a one and a half skull planet, uh, thirteen days from here. Enemy Two vehicles and a Yenlo Wang. Um, so yeah, with that one and a half skull building, or building, the one and a half skull planet, we can find some good missions over there, right? We'll leave here, go over there, uh, let's leave the barrage off for now till we know what we're dealing with over here. AC-10 and pair of rocket 10s. Okay, one hit, beautiful. Um, yeah, I do. Uh, let's not get too far. Here's probably fine. I'll be there before you know. Um, so yeah, I think having another mech might be a better way to go. And stick around with the missions that, you know... Ooh, God, nice. Uh, we'll stick with the missions that, um... Commander. You know, we know that'll be relatively challenging, but still net us some half-decent salvage before we move forward. And we need to refit this Apollo. Chance to hit it. Just so such garbage with this thing. If you got any suggestions, please let me know. Solid on that one. I mean, it, it's it can lend itself to, to energy build. I think it's got one energy hard point in one arm and two in another. So I mean, we can kind of go with the energy, like maybe just have one LRM on it. Maybe we keep the streak on it and then put on like, you know, ER lasers in the arms or something. But then once again, we're down to having managed the heat, right? Okay. Yeah, so we sold like all the light cores we had, everything below 175 we sold. So we've only got one core left, that's the 175. After we lost the 240 out of this Centurion, I had to use the 200 that we had. We got one core sitting in the base. Of course they are. From where though? From behind them? Yes. Looks like it. Owens? Okay, we got Owens parts, I think, unless I sold them. I don't see anything else back there. Alright, no worries. At least these guys are moving up. Yeah, it might be nice to have six mechs on the ground. 
it's the thing is it's going to cost us I think it was 576,000 to have one more mech and then another 400 and something thousand 470,000 I think to have um, control of that mech so it's like that's just a, that's a million and a bit right there that's exactly the same price of the, as if we sell a, the the uh, the uh, hell up whatever it is I want to call it the Heliop Heliopolis, but whatever. Um, if we sell that that 75 tonner, God, you're so slow. If we sell the 75 tonner, we can definitely um, do that. Scorpion, Bedette. This is well. Let's go after the vedette. Three shots is fine. Firing. Okay, one hit. Yeah, you know, because then we can bring the we can bring um, the kit fox forward. Most likely the kit the kit fox, because then we don't have to put engines and stuff in it. It's already got everything built in, right? So we bring that one forward. Um, and we maybe we set it up as a scout mech or whatever because we have um, once um, uh, what's his name our other pilot my god uh, uh, I can't remember his name <laughs> once our other pilot um, gets into combat and gets some more experience he'll be able to get sensor lock which I think will be nice if we have an if we, if we have a nice beefy LRM Mac to get sensor lock on people, uh, will be really nice. How many times can I say nice? Let's focus on one guy at a time here. Should be able to kill this hunter. Let's leave this off. Beautiful. Enemy unit destroyed. Guns off the field, please. I'm receiving you. Kaylee Lou Dallas multi pass. The Enlo Wang I don't think can get up here, so I think we're okay if we're in here. Roger. Firing on the vedette. We're gonna throw the barrage on this time. Beautiful hit. I apologize to all the people in those cars, but hey, not my problem. Yeah. I can't be expected to, you know, to like minefield. Minefield in way. Who's laying a minefield? Some rope a dope laid a minefield. Oof! Really. Target this guy. Lousy chances to hit, but we're taking him. Well, we know the streaks didn't hit. No joy. No joy. What's the plan? Plan is to get out of this mission alive. So let's not walk through any minefields. Been guilty of that in the past, so this guy should die. Certainly. Beautiful. That sure is. I'm liking the hello to the hellspawn. Are the three the three medium pulses and the streaks? Very nice. Excellent chances to hit, you know? You get within range and it's pretty devastating, that's that's for sure. And he's even good at back strikes and stuff. It's fast enough. I think that mech working with the kit fox, loaded out very similar, can be pretty devastating. So maybe we can do that. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to sell the 75 tonner. I want to drop another mech. And plus, I'm not in a rush to get to, like, heavies and assaults. The thing I always find, the reason why I like playing the slower series, uh, playing the eight mech parts to build to be, be able to build a mech, um, and 
definitely like you know not necessarily choosing mech parts when I'm selecting stuff is the fact that the mechs come in a lot slower you're generally getting mechs of relatively the same weight um, and you get a chance to accumulate the weapons and equipment that you can use to be able to build stuff later on the more you tr I, I find the more I rush that um, like right now if we were to rush into heavies we would just wouldn't have the ability to outfit it properly I mean we got a rack okay and th and then what you know some ER clan, clan ER mediums we use them all up on the same mech and then we've got nothing for anything else you know LBX 10 and a couple of regular ER larges but we don't really have anything that can outfit heavy mechs not the way I'd want to you know now we're not fighting the clans right now which is probably you know an issue Ah, that was a slight miss, buddy. That could have been you. Well, at least he's clearing the way to be able to see him. Shouldn't be complaining. And he's not moving, which makes it even better for us. We should be able to get up beside him, I think, this turn. Right? This is clear? That should be a clear shot through here. We can pull that arm off him. I'm messing the map up. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta say this. I'm, this is my second episode I'm recording today. I recorded the last one at the same time. Um, the game just seems to be playing a lot smoother today for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why that is. I haven't upgraded or anything. I haven't upgraded any video card drivers or any of that stuff. It's machine's still the same, so I don't know. Maybe it's the missions I've selected. Who knows? Maybe it's the fa you know what it is. We haven't really encountered any air units today. I mean, the last episode we what encountered a couple at the most. No, we didn't encounter any last episode. The one before we did, I recorded that a couple nights ago. Where did I record that last night? I can't remember now. So it happens when you get old and tired, you just can't remember shiz. Minefield on the way. It's a chance to hit this guy. Oof, really? Well, pretty good with this. Let's see if we can take a pot shot at him. Maybe we take maybe we kill him if we can hit his front. Beautiful. Whoops. My bad. Enemy unit destroyed. That's my fault. I apologize to all the families and people in that building. Why can't I move? I guess that's the end of my turn. It's probably because I killed everyone in the building. I'm feeling ashamed and I can't move. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh. Just in case he gets a shot at us, let's get some uh, superior ablot of armor from the trees. And we're just going to fire straight out. You know what it is? You guys know what it is. I said, everything seems to be running smoothly now. <laughs> that was my big mistake. All right. Have no doubt it, it will be done. done. Oh, we got guys over here. You move it? At the Owens, right? Yeah. This guy didn't move, so we're, well, we can only fire at him anyway. Looks like they both hit. Yes, command. Let's do a fire and maneuver, please. Everything on this guy, here it comes. I got it. Looks like the streaks hit. Beautiful. Get over here. Position confirmed. Excellent. We're going to get beside him with the uh, Centurion and wind the rack up on him.
they should uh, find a way to just replace the rack sound with a um, with one of those what are they what are they the, the Vulcan 30 millimeter chain guns get the sound of that thing just replace it just replace the sound for just the rack because that would just be a beautiful look at the chance to hit on this thing gonna go all the way to six warlord it confirm here it comes now we didn't get the arm but we did do significant damage They might be able to knock him down. I don't think so. But they might. Before he goes. Oh, we got his torso. Oh, I thought would have thought it was the arm. Oh, we almost took the torso completely. The arm almost has no armor left on it either. Okay. Oh, shoot. Stop it. Trying to click off. There we go. Heavy MRM jammed? Is that what it said? Mech's on fire. He's running! Uh-oh, something happened somewhere. Oh, he stepped over. He stepped on stuff. That's what it was. Did he? I don't know. I get these weird sound effects every once in a while. Okay, Goofy, you are out of position. That's my fault. We got some clan support here. I might be able to help out. We'll get you down here. I think there's probably some cover down in here. Maybe. Maybe not. See, it looks like this goes up. So this must be a, a ridge or something, maybe? I don't know. Kind of doesn't make any sense to have a park down low like that. Because then, you know, when it rains, like all the water goes down in here and floods everything and Hell, you don't want that. You don't want that. Oh, it's not in the valley. Okay, there is a ridge there, though. Okay. Minefield on the way. Maybe we should move over here. I know there's a minefield still. Full throttle. Do we take any damage? Oh, one. One point, no big deal. Let's open up on this guy. Let's make him think twice about shooting at Goofy. How might I help? Let's hope we don't get any flankers. We got more sensor traces here, so that there's an urban mech. RFF1, I have no what that is. No idea. Is this the Owens? It is. He's moving that way. Okay. Shoot at this guy. Firing. Oof. No streaks. Okay. Alright. That's alright. That's alright. We'll deal with that. You're going to get some lerms in a second anyway. Yeah, these cars, man. I feel sorry for these people. The door is open. Looks like they are. So whoever it was that created this, it's like the doors are open, people have run away. Perhaps that's a good thing. I don't think they're going to get very far. I'm here. I mean, hell, everybody's seen uh, Transformers. Let's finish this up. Oh, really bad chances to hit. What is up with that? Okay, we're not going to learn that guy. We're going to shoot at the other guy over here. Oof, really? Okay, looks like the streaks hit. 
Beautiful. Solid connection on that one. If we can pen the right torso back, we could probably lose that whole right right side. Yeah, don't take those 0.9% chance to hit, man. Just don't do it. Gonna be flames no matter where we go, I think. Oh, except for here. And we're jammed, because of course we are. Always at the key moment. Let's bring it back here, then. Let's not get too close to him. I know he's got melee capability. So firing in his backside. Here we go. Okay, not bad. Rack is unjammed. It's unpeanut buttered. Marshall, 55 tons. We're gonna have to start wheeling to the to the uh, right here. So as we attack the Leng Yen Lo Wang, we want to keep moving this way if we can. I mean, we want to hit his side, too, if we can. He's probably still going to run, most likely. He might turn and fight, but I bet you he runs. From what I've seen of the AI. He'll probably make a break for it back this way. Oh, he just decided he's going to stand there and die? Sure. We got one the end of the Wang part. We might as well make another one. Is that a head hit? Pilot injury, for sure. Okay, well, what do we got here? That's the Imuit. Yeah, we're going to take this one. Let's see if we can finish him up. Right arm. So that's the AC-20 gone. Oh, you had a flamer too, eh? Okay. Should still be overheating. Oh, we had a cooling flush, didn't we? We did. Um, can we go with everything? We can. We can't. Let's not do it. Ooh, beautiful shots, though. There goes the other arm. It's weird how when I'm on, like, the right side, I shoot, I blow the left arms off. Is that... Oof, doesn't matter. We gotta be up closer if we're gonna get a him in the optimal range, but we'll just move into here. Get on the corner. Now the Owens didn't move, so let's take a shot at him. Good chance to hit. Beautiful. Okay, you're gonna be a multi-target. Can we get you? We can. Oh god, whenever I see a uh, a line that goes through one like over or by one of my mechs, just makes me nervous. Okay, but we're gonna use the streak anyway, so it won't matter. I'm gonna multi-target this. So we're gonna put the streak on this guy. And then with this guy, just going to go with the regular LRMs. Now we're going to overheat. Uh, do we want to overheat? Mm, let's not. Let's not and say we did. Whoops.
The Owens is an Omni mech? Didn't know the Owens was an Omni mech. Is it? Really? I mean, if it is. Yes! Good, I don't have to shoot at him anymore. If it is, then we're gonna take Owens' parts. Now, it's only 35 tons, though, so. Yeah, it's probably not the best spot to be. Hmm. Let's just sprint it up. I'm not going to worry about shooting this turn. I'm just worried of standing behind this guy. Shooting him in the back would be a bad thing. You know, you get carried away with the rack and somebody loses all the armor on his back and that's the end of it. Not a good thing. Yeah, I should really be um, kind of balancing between taking mech parts and components. I think I've been doing an okay job of that, but can't really support that many mechs. That's the problem, right? Like in the past series, I've been able to, you know, manage it with 12 mechs and kind of be okay, but now it's like really expensive, like really expensive. Like we've got five mechs running and it's one, it's, you know, and they're like 40, what is it, 45 to uh, 65 tons? And it's like 1.2, like, well, one mil, just a little over a million, like 1.1 million. If we get rid of that 75 tonner, that is. Otherwise, it's like 1.2 million. It's like just ridiculous. I mean, we've been managing to make our um, financial reports without too much of a problem. But we just don't have any of that extra cash, you know? I thought about trying to do a series where it's like, you know, you can't. Uh, you, you know, you can't choose what you get. Um, so it's like basically uh, you're um, you've got to take uh, you know the highest amount of C bills you can, and not be able to take any components. And then you're then you're forced to buy as many components as you can to be able to survive. That would be really difficult with this situation. It would be really interesting to see how well that could be done. All right, we're going to fire a maneuver. Mm. Oh, I see here. My god, I didn't see this before. Electronic warfare system ping. Okay, we need to get up here. Because we're down. Alright, I'm firing. Oh, they both hit. <gasps> they all hit. The whole thing collapsed. Took fall damage too. Cool. Yours is a fire maneuver, buddy. Shoot this guy in the back. Let's finish him up. Yo, Goofy, back your ass up. Yeah, he's had enough. He's like, Farg this she's. Farg these she's. Mm, maybe over here. That's probably a little better. God, 
God, the chance to hit is so terrible. Strangely enough, though, it's even with the lousy chances to hit, this mech seems to be kind of holding its own. I mean, it isn't performing as well as I'd like it to be performing, but it's still not doing too bad. Okay, we got, yeah, we got to do something about this uh, speed because this is ridiculous. We need to get 240 core again. Just that extra 40 is like, makes a huge difference. You're knocking them down? No. Oh, he's knocked down. Jeez, he's still going. You see what I mean about full armor, though? How I said that other battle, if if they all had full armor, it would have been made a different, like a huge difference. We have a submarine in the area. Don't shoot him, shoot the Owens, man. Make the pilot eject. Make the pilot eject. He's still going, though. Hmm. Get Jesse. Everybody get Jesse. Standing by. Let's get in the trees. I have no idea what that urban mech got, so. Firing on this guy. So yeah, Target's down. sure is. Ooh, yeah. You go after the headshot or just CT this guy? He's got a lot of energy points on him. I don't like the look of that. Let's just CT this guy. Can you uh, CT this guy for me, please? Yes, Commander. You know, I like Goofy. He's just so amiable. Ask him to CT people. He's just like, yeah, sure. There you go. That's how you core somebody. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. I guess concrete nap in this case. See what I mean? I'm not. I don't feel guilty about destroying buildings. If you know, if Clan Wolf's gonna fire on their own buildings, you know, why should I care? You know. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm on it. Well, dead fire is kind of middle of the road and we're running low, so let's go with the dead fire because why not? That guy's hanging in there pretty good. Doing a good job of torso twisting it, I imagine. Spreading that damage around, trying to stay alive. I mean, it won't really matter. We're going to kill him anyway, but you never know, right? Okay, try and stay alive. Okay, Hellion. Yeah. You finally got a chance to do something, maybe. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? What? Oh, right there. There we go. It. Yes, I am. Just don't shoot us in the back. 
This guy didn't move. You got to go. Oh, you don't have a great chance to hit, but that's fine. Let's just go with three. More would it give us a better chance to hit? Hey, eh? Let's just do this. <laughs> See ya. It sure is. Good job. And then there was one. You see what I mean, though? If these guys are retreating, they, sh they should have a safe place that they can retreat to. It's going to stick it out with me, are you? Beautiful. Let's do this. Yeah, the, the, I used to play a game called uh, Age of Wonders, and when you attack the enemy, you have an option to be able to retreat. Now, they never had it. Which we, the thing I always found weird was, is that if you were doing the attacking, you could also withdraw, but if you were defending, you couldn't withdraw. So, like, if someone was chasing you, and they attack you first, they have the option to retreat. But if someone's, like, you know, you should be able to have the option to retreat, if you're defending, like you just run away from them, right? But nope, never gave you the option. But there should be an option, like they, these guys should be able to re just pull out, right? If things are going bad. Beautiful, soften them up. Just keep hammering this guy, let's get rid of him. Knock his ass on the ground, please. Firing. Do 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 do. Well, at least we hit with everything this time. All right, knocking his ass down. Ready. He's not having a fun time. He's not having a fun time. I'm gonna do it just because I can. I know we're going to overheat, but uh, let's leave this off. Let's just leave the Zeus off, just in case. Firing. Well, that's it for him. <laughs> Mission successful. That's what you call cratering somebody. Alright, 100,000. Let's see how much it's going to cost us to repair. Uh, what do we get here? Now we do, I know, uh, maybe I did sell the Owens part. Okay, we can't make a mech. Although I know, I, I know we have Yenlo Wang parts. I'm going to take one mech part. And see what else we got here. Mag, sh mag shots, quantity 2. These things are pretty cool. They got fixed, fixed range capacity though. But still, let's, because they got two per, let's grab those. Two medium pulses, eh? Now these are inner sphere medium pulses, not clan, but still. Uh, let's see what else we got. MML risk. What does this do? Flat 15% jam t chance mitigated by gunnery. Can explode for six damage. Use SRM or LRM ammo. I see. Okay. 690 meters is pretty good. Tag. Tag. Another tag. Arrow four. There's a 250 core. And a F Artemis 4 system, which was one of the things we were looking for. Well, maybe we can deal with the lower speed for now. The Artemis 4 would be nice to get the Artemis ammo so we can get better chance to hit on our uh, Apollo. Tracker sensors are kind of nice. Triple strength Myomars we don't really need. UAVs, 0.25, eh? Extem uh, establish essential lock on all enemies within 250 
radius. Me reveal stealth and undetected enemies. Golden circle. Three turn cooldown. Generates five heat. It's kind of neat. More Artemis LRM ammo. We've got two already, so we don't need any more than that. Swarm improved. Minus one direct fire accuracy with long range missiles. We haven't been using our swarm ammo only because the targets have been, our enemies have been spread out fairly decently. Really the best way to use these is to use them against um, uh, ambush convoy missions. No, I think we're pretty good here. Patrick materials are still nice, but I think the Artemis 4 system is more important right now. Um, the Arrow 4 is kind of nice, but it's a one every, once every three turns thing, so it's not such a big deal. This medium pulses are nice too, but not sure what mech we would end up putting them on right now. Well, it's the same as the mag shots, like which mech does it go on? We could fit one into the Hollander, maybe two, because like 30 damage for five heat is pretty damn good. Same range as a medium laser too, right? Falls off to 40% of starting at long range, I see. Hmm. Maybe we go with the pulses instead then. Uh, I don't know. If we're gonna get the, if we get to bring the Kit Fox into play, either would work, mag shot or medium pulse. But I like the fact that the medium pulse, we don't have to worry about ammo. The range is the same. Well, it's slightly shorter for the inner sphere medium pulse though. Um, RE medium lasers, good for stripping armor. Maybe we should take the core. Although the other core is 8.5 tons. So putting the 250 in is 7 tons. We're going to have to strip a lot of stuff off that uh, Centurion to get this in. I mean the SRM-6 could go. That's 3 tons and a ton of ammo. It's 4 tons. But then there's still 3 more tons we got to get rid of. Uh, oof, tough choice, eh? Let's go... Uh, you know what? Uh, let's keep the mag shots. Gives us a little bit of versatility with weapon loadout. Let's go this route. It's a tough choice. Immolate part, AC-10, pirate, flamer, regular tag. We got a bunch of these now. Oh, we got the 250 core anyway. Beautiful. Eight more jump jets that we can sell. Oh, the patchwork. Nice. Slick sweet UAV. All right, so most of the stuff we were kind of looking at, we picked up. Beautiful. Okay, let's have a look here. 29,000 again. So not too bad for repairs. I mean, the less Omnimex we have, the more it costs for repairs. Not much we can really do about that. Uh, looks pretty good for repairs. Doesn't really matter which order we go in here. Um, so I think we do have a couple of extra missions we can do on this planet couple of two skulls here. Oh, we got another two skull. Hold the line. Defend base in the tundra. That's a possibility. It looks like we picked, there's a few more that showed up. Protect the mechs. Yeah, some of these have started showing up now because we're gaining better uh, reputation with uh, Clan Wolf. So this is a possibility. An escort, we can do that next episode maybe. An escort mission might be nice for salvage. 521 and a good payout. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sell that uh, 75 tonner um, and get us get ourselves repaired here. Most likely we will um, be going to go ahead and do the next drop here. This drops an additional one mech. So this, uh, what does this do here? Yeah, so mech control. So we had to take this first and then this guy. So this one is 576,000, which is what I figured it was. And this one's 400 and something, right? No, 336, even cheaper. Beautiful. That's seven days. And this one is what? Seven, so 14 days. That's less than a month away or half a month away. Um, which we still have 28 days left in the month. So we'll have, we can field another mech before the end of the month, which is beautiful. So if we go ahead, um, let's just do this now before we end the episode. So we're going to go ahead and sell this. As much as I'd love to uh, be able to try and do something with this, I think we can take the, uh, the C-bills and do something better with it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, then let's go to engineering. And we'll go ahead and purchase this. Now, it's going to cost us 11000 a month, which really isn't anything. Go ahead and purchase this. Thank you. All right. And now, once that's up and running, um, I'm not going to do it before the next mission because we don't need to have another mech up before the next mission because it, the mech bay will be uh, in after, we pull, after we're doing, like, we do the next mission. Then I'll bring forward the, uh, the Hillian. Hell, uh, sorry, not the Hillian. <laughs> sorry, I was looking at her name here. Uh, I'll bring forward the uh, Kit Fox, probably. Uh, actually, let's have a look at, uh, sorry, Mech Base real quick. Now, Yen Lo Wang, um, we did have some parts. So that's the Ostwar. I thought we had an Owens part too, but I guess we don't. I probably sold it because it was worth a fair bit. Um... Regular Centurion. Oh, we do have two Owens parts. We have two. I thought we I thought we didn't have any. Or I thought we had one. We got two, so that's good. So where is... Did I miss it? There it is. Yen Lo Wang. Did I sell the other part? Was I d just an idiot and sold the other part? Figuring we'd never use... We'd never go ahead and do that. I may have done that because we, were, we needed C-bills. Or is it here somewhere and I just missed it? Kit Fox. Was I thinking Centurion? I don't think so. I thought it was a Yen Lo Wang we, I had. Maybe I did sell the part. That's a possibility. That's the Griffin. Gladiator. Another griffin. Wait a minute. Can we make a? We can make a griffin. I had no idea we could make a griffin. This one's. This guy's got an ER PPC. Large pulse laser. This is three energy, three missile. Six energy, two missile. I think we go with this guy. LRM launcher has been upgraded to a Doom Bud LRM 20 launcher. And what has the other one got? Large Pulse. XL engine. This guy's got an XL engine too. So let's go with this one. Let's ready this guy. Uh, hmm. Yeah, because, oh, God, I don't know. If I ready it and we need to put a core and everything in this guy, it may cost us a crap ton of C-bills, in which case we won't be able to uh, field it. We'd have to fix it and store it, and that's going to cost us a lot of C-bills. The Kit Fox I know we can bring forward. Um, I know we can bring this guy forward because it's already got a core. It's got the XL engine. It's got the... XL, Clan XL Gyro, um, 
and it would be really cheap to get up and running. It would be really fast. We know we can bring forward the Griffin at any time. So I think we leave it for now. Now is this Jenner compatible with the other one? It is. Okay. Yeah, I think we do that. And I think when we, you know, if we need C bills, we can always sell this Jenner. It's like four hundred thousand or whatever to sell it. So I think we do that. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Sorry for rambling there at the end. I just uh, trying to get some stuff sor sorted around my head. And most likely, I'm gonna record the next episode right after this one. Um, just so everything's kind of fresh in my mind where we're going with this. All right, so if you enjoyed the episode, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Please, you know, let me know what you think about the choices here. Um, if you got any ideas, throw them down. Uh, I know Fist of Dorn has always got, you know, um, great ideas. Always, I'm always welcome to, to read them too because he's always got fantastic ideas. So if you guys have any ideas, throw them in the comment section down below. All right, until next time, we'll see everybody later.